So I had a couple people wondering how I program my Christmas lights doing the uh, quote-unquote old-fashioned way of doing it. Now what I use is the Arduino IDE program. It works with Arduinos and the Arduino Mega and the clones of it. And it's in C++, I think, what the format of it is. But anyways, this is my uh, program for the 2020 show. Now, this is, without a doubt, probably the hardest way to do this. I don't suggest it. I started with this back in late March or so, around that area. And just went with it. I worked on it here and there. Some days I'd do it every evening for a little bit. Some Sometimes I wouldn't work on it for a week or two. And up until actually 1st of December, I was still working on it. I was finding little kinks and things I didn't like, and I was changing it. That's why I suggest using the, uh, our, the uh, Vixen software, because you can put a picture of your house in there and design the lights and have little representations of the lights and you can actually see what your show is going to look like versus this because this you really have no way of telling what it's going to physically look like until you actually hook it all up that's why i was going to do a little uh diorama i guess you'd say of my house and the lights and some leds just to see how it work out ran out of time it's a whole nother story so I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. I'm not an Arduino programming expert by any means. This is pretty basic stuff. The There's different ways of doing it, but this is the easiest way i found of doing it. But this is also the hardest way of doing it. I suggest using Vixen or another program. It's a little bit more user-friendly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So going into the show here, this section right here, you don't really have to look at this. This is what I had... Um, I was going to use a liquid crystal display. It looks like this right here. Let me get my turn my light on here. You can see it. It's got a little LCD screen there. I was going to hook that up onto my relay box board, my controller box, put it on the front of it. So if there was issues in the program, I could see where it was going or what the program was, or where at in the program it was, I had to change it. And that turned out to be not a very good option because, yeah, that screen would be in the box, and I couldn't see it when the light show was going, so I just nixed the whole idea. You'll see this stuff that says liquid crystal display throughout my uh, throughout the program. Just overlook it. Don't look at it. it, it it's, it's uh, yeah, I didn't do it. So anyways... <clears throat> First thing you got to do is define what you have. Okay, I'm using relays, so I just call them relays. You can call them whatever you want, whatever you want to. You can call them doghouses, doghouse one, doghouse two. You know, you can actually put this, uh, define this as what it is you're going to turn on and off. Like I have bushes, I have my bushes left, right. You know, big bush, tall bush. You know, carport, roof, fence line, things like that. You could actually um, define these. Is what you're going to turn on. But anyways, the numbers out here to the side, that is the pins that coincide with our Arduino. Now this right here is a Arduino Uno, smaller version of what I use. If you look here on the bottom, it has pin numbers and the same thing on the top. These numbers right here coincide with these and then you put say this is pin one where well, you find pin one and you're going to run the, your line from here from pin one to your relay number two okay pretty basic stuff i'm trying to make this simple as possible but not get too in depth with it because it's, it's it's quite complicated at times but anyways so once you got everything defined what it's going to be what pin is going to be i put out here to the side if you put forward slash, anything after your forward slash is not going to be part of the uh, command. It's not going to send any of this information past the forward slash to the Arduino. It's just a note section. Now, if I would have, instead of calling this Relay 1, I should have called it Arch 1. Then I wouldn't have to have all this stuff right here. I could, you know, I wouldn't have to go back and forth. It would have saved me some time. It is what it is. 
okay scroll down i have 52 outputs okay it shows 53 there but i'm using uh the zero pin now you go here and put it in void setup and initialize the arduino data output pins for output make sure you put output on here and at one point i forgot to put this on here and nothing worked and i couldn't figure out what it was and i just didn't put the pin out pin modes it tells you it tells arduino if it's going to be an input where it's going to take information or output where it's going to give information out we're going to give information out we're turning on relays we're giving information to the relays to turn on and off to turn on and off the christmas lights okay and like i said here's that lcd don't look at that okay then you go here where it says void loop and void loop from this little i'm not sure what it's called little parenthesis looking mark from that one anything down is the loop it's going to play this loop between this one and there's one at the bottom of the program it's just going to continuously root loop whatever's in here okay now i have a little test sequence here as soon as the arduino kicks on it's going to shut all everything off so there's nothing you know out of se sequence or just just a little precautionary note now you notice the it says digital write you have digital write and analog write i'm not sure if you can use analog write with this i just went with digital write it works i'm not going to question it i have relays all my relays are labeled here and i put high now i'm using low level trigger relays i do not suggest using them in fact don't use them i i'm not sure if vixen even works with low level relays i've heard there's a way you can uh reverse the outputs in vixen to accommodate for low level but i haven't pulled with it enough to understand if it does not okay so whenever you see something that says high here on the list it's actually off it's sitting at high voltage or basically a voltage to the relays and that turns them off your usual typical high imp uh high input relays a high signal is going to turn them on so that's another thing where I screwed up. I, I bought one board back in 2019, 2018, and just did my arch with it. So it wasn't a big deal. And then when I went to add all the other channels, I should have just went ahead and bought all new high, re, high input relays. But I didn't. I bought low level input relays and it, it was it turned out to be a pain in the butt. So use high level inputs relays. Okay, this is my all off section here. It just to make sure everything is off. And if you look down here at the bottom, these last four, I actually bought a four channel relay. And it was supposed to be low level input, but they sent me a high level input. So these are backwards. That's another thing. They're not the same as these. It was more of a headache than and, and the seller on eBay, they 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 gave me a little bit of money back on it because it's not what I ordered, but yeah that's another problem make sure everything's high level input okay now like right here we're gonna go to this it says all on and quarter second steps what i did this is like a text a test function as soon as the thing as soon as my program starts it turns on every relay, like relay from one all the way down to 53 i think is what it ends up being okay 53 in quarter second steps Okay, now how do I get the quarter second steps out of there? If you look, it says delay. And then you have parentheses 250 parentheses ampersand or semicolon, so you semicolon. Your delay is a stop. It stops everything that's going on in the program for however many one hundredths of a second you put in there. The 250 is 250 one hundredths of a second, so that's a quarter second. A full second will be 1,000. A half second will be 500, so on and so forth. Now you can understand why it's a pain in the butt, because everything I have to physically put in, the timing between all the lights and all the steps. Okay, so if you see, it goes all the way down. And it's basically turning all the relays on, so I can see if anything's out or out of place, or you have a strand out, or a outlet burnt up, or something like that. Luckily, none of that stuff happened this year. And then I go down here to my next section has everything off. 
Okay, it just turns everything off for a eighth of a second. One, two, five, eighth of a second. Okay, so here's another part of the program. And what I did is when I had each little section, I would actually program them in another window and then just copy and paste them into the, the main show. Then if I had issues, I could go into just this section, change it, and go back, copy and paste into the other set, the main show. Anyways, this is the one from last year. This is a, I call it a left to right wave. And what it does is it's basically on the arch. Now, this is last year. I only had just the arch. The lights would go like this. Just basically making like a hopping or, you know, something like that. I'll put a little short video right here of what it looks like kind of give you an understanding of what it how i'm doing this so basically relay two which is on the bottom left would be on and then an eighth of a second later relay three would turn on and the relay two would go off and then so on and then another eight second that Relay three would go off and relay four would go on basically creating, you know, a, a hopping looking or a, a jump type thing. Kind of hard, hard to under, to, uh, just depict what it is, but I'll show you in the video. But basically you can see where it's just continuously turning on and off relays and, and sequencing of of what you want now if you're just going to do a leaping arch in your show this right here is not a problem you can do this in you know a week's time depends on how much how long you want to you know how much you want to do the first the first little program i did it took me a little bit to understand what it was and once i had my leaping arch built and my control box built i could test it out and everything and you don't necessarily have to have your control box built to test these out. If you have your relays and you hook them up to our Arduino, once you have them hooked up, if you look at my video in one of my previous videos, I'll show you how to hook these up. But anyways, if you look right in here, these little silver or white looking things, that's LEDs. Okay. That will give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on. So you don't have to actually have your, all your lights and everything hooked up. You can actually look at the Arduino, I mean, look at your relay board, and the little indicator lights will kind of give you an idea of what's going to be on your arch. You can use just a simple H-channel uh, H relay board like that one I just showed and get by. I, I did one last year, and it worked out great. Uh, once I got everything worked out and the bugs worked out, it worked wonderful. People loved it. You know, there's not too many people around in my area. There's only one house maybe three houses in my county that have animated Christmas lights on this scale. Um, this is probably, my house is probably the second most animated, I guess you'd say, in the county. The uh, first house, uh, I'll put a link up here in the top of the screen and you can see how big it is. But anyways, basically what you're going to do is just figure out how you're going to turn off your relays and when you're going to turn on and off your relays. Um... Go back here, the main Christmas one. This is this is the 2020 one. If you look, I'm not going to scroll for all this, but I'm going to pan over here, and you can see right up here the little scroll bar, I guess you call it. But you can just tell I'm continuously scrolling down with the mouse here on my keypad. You can tell how long or how much programming I had to do to get my 2020 show going, okay? Um, each section, I started out each section basically, it all focuses off the leaping arch. And there's areas in there where I have strobes where I have everything turned on and off at a very fast rate and, it's a, and the delay is about 0.75 or 0.60 Anything smaller than 0.60, turning on and off, you're not going to see it with the naked eye if you're doing a mass amount of flash. So if you're going to use a strobe, make sure it's 60 or above. 
anything lower than 60 it's just going to look like a blur or a constant on of lights but you can tell here i'm just daily scrolling and scrolling and scrolling i'm probably three quarters of the way through it um like i said i don't suggest doing this it's very not complicated but it's very um aggravating at times when things don't work out i had sections in my light show where i had one strand of lights would not turn off. I couldn't figure out why. Couldn't figure out why. I went back in the program and I searched for that strand of lights and had to go for all the search features of that light until I found where the problem was. And then once I found the problem, it took me a little bit to fix it, but it wasn't no big deal. But if I paid attention when I was doing all this, it would never happen. But like I said in the first part of the video, instead of using a generic, uh, whatever you call it a generic description like mine says relays if i would do, if i was going to do this again i would put on you know like this right here is sidewalk instead of relay 16 i would put it sidewalk and go from there because at times all these right here i didn't add them to the descriptor like you can look right here they're not on here i just didn't put them in there a lot of this is copy and paste there's sections where there's no descriptors off the side, and I just had to use by memory what relay seven, eight, six, five. I knew what a lot of those are by memory just from working on them for the last year. So instead of using relays, I would use a, a general descriptor instead of just relay. It will help you out a little less typing. Now, if I had a section like I was doing a strobe section, I would have all of them on and then all of them off. Well, instead of typing that all back and forth, back and forth, typing, 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 once I got one section of on and then one section of off, I would just highlight it, copy and paste it, and just keep copying and pasting until you're, until you're happy with how, many, how long it's going to go for, okay? Um, there's sections in here where all the little sections of the uh, display... See if I can get to one here in the show. Like this right here. I call it super slow. It's a slow flash. If you put your forward slashes in that, that will keep your sections separated in case you have a uh, you have an issue. Like, oh man, during the super slow or the the strobe or the the wave or whatever, I have you know my carport, it's not it's not on. Well, you can just go in here and hit a control F. And it pulls up your funk, your find. Okay, I have sweep. So let's look for a sweep. So I'm going to get my mouse here. Go here where it says sweep. And it pulls up full sweep. And what this is, it turns all my lights on from the right side of my house all the way to the left. And then it goes back and turns them all the way off. It's a pretty neat looking little function. I like the way it turned out. So if you're having problems like this, like I said, if I had a a light section in the full sweep that was all, that was out of sequence, okay, say let's say right here, say my front door was turning on too fast or too slow, I could highlight it, and cut it, and paste it back where I needed to go, or down here, wherever. So that's one thing. Make, if you have sections of lights and you're doing it this way, or sections in the show and you're doing it this way with IDE programming, label each section. It keeps it easy to uh, figure out or to adjust in the long run. See, so here is the, the right to left removal. So once they go from right to left turning on, everything's on, and then a couple seconds later, well, two seconds later, they all turn off in a sweeping motion. It's pretty neat. But if I had a problem with it, I could just look for right to left removal. I got all, all the sections written down on a piece of paper. I have a uh, data sheet or you know, a map or whatever you want to say, a notebook. I got a spiral bound notebook that's probably got six to ten pages of notes of lights, counts, so on and so forth. Notes help you out. These little sections right here past your... Uh, Four slashes is notes, and those are definitely something that will help you out in the long run. So that's just about it. Basically, what you want to do is figure out how in-depth you want to go. Okay? 
Like I said, I have 52 channels of lights and over 11,000 lights. Hindsight 2020, I should have worked on Vixen at the end of last year. I should have got it set up. I should have got my my relays done right. This year, probably going to have to get rid of the low-level input relays and buy all new high-level input relays. Um, it's about a $75 mistake I made. It is what it is. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Maybe I can figure out if Vixen will let me inverse the lows to highs in the programming. Uh, I, I hope. If I can't, I'm going to have to buy all new relays and take my control box apart and put in all new relays. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you heard the sarcasm in my voice. Anyways, um, use your imagination. Uh, this all started off with, you know, one little thing in my head with a leaping arch that I saw on Facebook or YouTube or wherever it was at. And it was just, you know, a couple of them just jumping back and forth together. I was like, wow, I think I could do that. How do I do that? You know, I started looking at it. Well, you know, this light section turned on and then this one turned on, but this one down here turned off. So I was like, well, I can do that. Turn this one on, turn this one on. But when this one's on, you turn that one off. That's all you got to do. You know, there was times when I first started this, I actually had a drawing of my leaping arch with the eight sections on it. And so, and I had them all labeled out so I could keep them fresh in my mind of, you know, when I turn, you know, section eight on, number seven had to be off, you know, so on and so forth. You know, go on, go on YouTube and look up leaping arches, lighted leaping arches or Christmas leaping arches. And you can get some ideas there. Um, it's not that hard to do. If anybody wants, you know, shoot me a message or whatever, and I can send you some of the, uh, I'm pretty sure I got them saved on my computer still. Some of the basics, basic uh, little light shows I had with just the leaping arch. You know, it's an eight-section leaping arch. You know, I, I put a video up here in the uh, top up here of how I built them. It's not all that hard to do. Cost you about maybe $75, if even that much. And then your control box is another, you know, 50 bucks for a basic small eight-channel control box. You know, so if you want to just use, use a leaping arch and you need some help, get with me. I will be glad to help you. I enjoy um, helping people out and, and seeing their progress and seeing their work and, and seeing their enthusiasm when things go right. And, you know, I feel their pain when things don't go right. I've had, you know, some hiccups here and there over this, this last couple of years of doing this this way. And as much fun as I thought this was going to be, programming like this was not bad for the leaping arch but for a 52 channel show it was a pain in my butt no doubt about it if i do this again next year and if i don't have the vixen program worked out i'll just use this program again i'll go in there make a few small basic changes so it's not the same as last year maybe i'll throw some things you know in different sequences versus this year just to make it a little bit different um uh, my fiance already has some ideas that she wants to do next year or actually wants me to do next year. So it's a lot, it's some building of some stuff and a little bit of ingenuity. It's going to be interesting. And some of it's not going to involve this, uh, my programming box I have built. It's going to be a different standalone box that I got planned that I'm actually already buying parts for and electronics for to make sure it works right. Because I don't want to disappoint her and my daughter. Because they saw this on TV or Facebook or YouTube or whatever, TikTok, Snapchat, one of those. And they looked at me, they said, Sean, we want that. Make it happen. So guess what? I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to keep the ladies happy. But anyways, like I said, it's just turning off your relays on and off. Certain sequences, certain timing. Um, Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Definitely a pain in the butt. Don't recommend it unless you have having, you know, less than eight channels. You know, maybe 16 you can get away with, but eight channel, eight to 16 channels. That's anything past 16 channels. I do not recommend doing this. Unless you want to start in February or March. If you've never done this before, I suggest, excuse me, I suggest starting in February. 
I started in March, and like I said, in Jan uh, December, after my light show was already on and looking at it, I found issues with it. I had to go back and change it. It's a learning process. It's a learning curve. It's definitely a learning curve. Okay? But anyways, like I said before, if you got any questions or comments, concerns, you know, shoot me a, a comment or an email or get a hold of me here. Somehow, we'll figure it out. And I'll try to help you out as best I can. I'm not a professional in the Arduino IDE programming by any means, but this right here is fairly basic stuff. Using delay is basic stuff. There's different ways to turn your lights on and off. It's more than I need to do. It's more than anybody else needs to do. This is the simplest version of doing it with your delays. But anyways, enough rambling. I'm going to get out there and uh, go clean some, some sticks out of the yard. Got a little rainstorm come through. But anyways, like I said, if y'all need some help, let me know. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.